ears and welcome to our story time today. Now, a lot of children around the world are preparing to go back to school. This might be really exciting for some of you, but some of you might also feel a little bit anxious or scared. So I thought it would be really nice if I share this very special story today. The story is called Coming Back to School in a Bubble. And this was written by a teacher called Mrs. K. Matthews from a primary school and nursery school in the UK. Now today we've adapted it because obviously we're in Thailand, so sometimes the way we do things is slightly different. Let's begin. What does coming to school in a bubble mean? Are we going to pop? I hope not. Don't worry, coming to school in a bubble doesn't mean that I'll actually put you inside a bubble. A bubble is just a small group of people who will spend time together at school. We can think of it as a team, okay? Can you work as a team? It will include some of your friends and a few grown-ups that you all know and feel safe with from school. It might not include all of your friends or perhaps your brothers and sisters. Your bubble. You will do all of your activities together. You will sing and relax and think together. You can work together, eat together, create together and play together. Your bubble will have some indoor space and outdoor space and it will be all yours. But some of the children in another bubble won't be able to come and see you in your bubble. But of course, you can call out and wave hello to your friends in another bubble. When you arrive at school, we have to say goodbye to our grown-ups and then we will lock the school gate to make sure that we keep you safe. When we arrive to class, we will change our shoes and we'll wash our hands. Can you remember how long for? That's right, we will wash our hands for 20 seconds. And this will make sure that we start our day clean and healthy. We will start by sitting on our new dots. We will sing a song together and we can share our thoughts and our worries with our friends and teachers. There will always be a grown-up to try and help you if you feel sad or worried about anything. Your grown-up, your teacher, will tell you all the exciting things for the day ahead. There will be so much time to play with your friends. You can play inside and outside as long as it's not raining. Being clean is extra important at the moment so that we can keep everyone healthy. We all need to be super cleaners. Sometimes when we play, we get super mucky and dirty but sometimes the dirt is really so small we can't see it. We will need to be really careful to clean our toys and make sure that we put everything back in the correct place. But don't worry, your teachers will show you how. We will also need to wash our hands more than we're used to. We will need to wash our hands every 30 minutes. And how long do we wash our hands for? 20 seconds. So we need to encourage our friends to wash their hands properly. Now you've been staying in your houses for quite a long time and I'm sure you are really excited to see all your friends again. But coming back to school is just the first step to being back together. To begin with, we have to try not to get too close to our friends. We can play together, but we try not to hug our friends. We try not to hold each other's hands, 
but there are lots of games we can play and lots of things that we can do that would be really fun. And at the end of every school day, we will share a story together and say goodbye. We won't see everyone as often as we used to, but this will make the time we spend together really extra special. We are going to try and make sure you have a really lovely time in your bubble. And one day soon, we hope that all the bubbles can be popped and we can give each other a big hug. That is something really special for us all to look forward to. I am very excited to see you all back at school very soon. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care.